How's it going guys? Back with another video. I got the Brothers and Cards silver box today. Um, by the time I got on, it was early February to buy a box. I don't have a subscription I buy individually. Their gold boxes were gone. Uh, so I bought a silver box <clears throat> and um, I'm kind of okay with it because the gold box was just a playoff feature, which Playoff is not super desirable, not a lot of resale value there. That's why it's a cheaper box. Um, I just don't think that the cards look that cool or that, that good. So um, I'm not too bummed about the gold box. They did, Brothers and Cards also announced on Friday, recording this end of February, um, <clears throat> that they're raising their prices. So like the rest of the hobby, everything's getting more expensive. Uh, I think they said, the gold box is going from 140 145 whatever it is right now, to $250, <laughs> which I was blown away by. And then the uh, silver box is pretty much replacing the gold box at 140 or 150 And then the bronze box, which I've never bought, I don't know, I think it's like 40 or 50 bucks maybe, is going up to $90 for three packs. Um, three packs for $90 is insane um so i don't know um i also saw that brothers i'm sorry uh, boombox released their lineup of platinum and high end for the month of march and it was real weak real weak uh the platinum is going to be a hobby pack of 2020 Optic, which is really cool, about $45 a pack, and then the rest of the lineup was off years, like 15, 6, uh, 15, 14, like just nothing good. Um, and then I, I can't even remember what the uh, high end was, but it was, a, again, a lot of off year stuff. So when I say off year, I mean non-2020, which is the current year, um, which is what you're looking for. And uh, so it's real disappointing to, to sort of see that stuff go down. Um, I don't know. I have an idea of what I want to do now. Uh, I don't know if eventually I'll probably get priced out of that too. But uh, I think I'm just going to have to buy individual packs from from um, from uh, Boombox and make my own box. Because I, I can pick the packs I want at the price I want uh, or max out at the price I want. So... Um, yeah, uh, I might do that. But anyways, let's get into this box. This is the, again, silver box for the month of February. Nothing huge in here, um, but it was what I like. This was at the current, the old price, so like $80 or $90. And um, um, I made back, you know, even though it isn't a strong box with any of the high-end packs, I still made back the, the value there because of the price of the packs. Uh, so we have two of these are Team All uh, Elite, and then two of these are Regular Elite. I'm not sure which ones are which. Maybe it'll stay on the back. Um, GC, GC, I don't know, GC, CTM. I think CTM is the uh, um, Team All. So these are the Team All, these are the Regular Elite. We have a score hybrid pack and then a legacy, which may be our highest valued pack. I'm not sure, but um, let's do it. And then legacy, I guess, which is usually a starting pack. Um, yeah, you can see the yeah, just the, the hobby itself getting annoying. Um, let's start with the score hybrid. I pulled some cool stuff out of score hybrid. I think I pulled a really low numbered. Um, uh, Sony Michelle got out of six out of this. Sold it for a nice dollar. So we got Carlos Hyde, Stefan Gilmore. I haven't I haven't opened score in a while. It's kind of nice to open it. Dak Prescott, Demarcus Robinson, Quandre Diggs. We got a rookie of DJ Dallas. The gray background. A breakthrough DJ Moore. Celebration New Orleans Saints. A rookie Tommy Stevens and a Jordan Elliott rookie. So nothing good out of that one. Um, let's see what team, I've never opened T-Mall, so this will be interesting. I think T-Mall, T-Mall is known for their parallels. So we're looking for nice parallels in here. Stefan Gilmore, Delvin Cook. Okay, we got a, oh, Darrington Evans, I thought it was a CEH. Darrington Evans, the rookies, 
Oh, not the rookies. Donruss Elite Throwback 2000. Uh, not numbered. I have a few of these. Uh, Richard Sherman and Danny Amendola. So an underwhelming first two packs. Let's see if second team all pack is any better. TJ Watt, Kyler Murray, Cole McDonald out of 399. <clears throat> 274 out of 399. This is the not labeled, okay. Sometimes with these parallels, they have names like aspiring, but I don't see anything on this one. Uh, Baker and a Michael Thomas. So again, 0 for 3. Davius White, Got a rookie card here of Albert O. Uh, I have a few of his cards, and then a Kirk Cousins out of three ninety nine. DeAndre and a Christian Kirk. All right, we got one more leap. Regular Marlon Mack. Aaron Donald. Oh, hello. There we go. We got some PC. Nice card. Luck is turning. I'm also recording this in the morning. It's a little groggy. <clears throat> Why am I recording this in the morning? Because I realized that this was delivered yesterday and I didn't check my mailbox. All right, so. Let's take a look at this. 96 out of 99. Those colors are really cool on there. Uh, Miami colors, too, with that aqua. That's a cool card. That's a very cool card. Uh, Derek Carr and a Tyron Matthew. All right, last pack here. on the back there. All right, we have a Adam Thielen, Miles Garrett, Alvin Kamara. We have a DJ Chark, a For the Ages, JJ Watt. Wah, wah. <laughs> Derek Brooks, uh, AJ Dillon, and a Tua. Uh, this is the base Tua. But yeah, um, to a to a to a little tiny to a hot box. Um, nothing huge out of this. Uh, probably wasn't really expecting much out of those packs, anyways. Uh, so yeah, they're. Uh, I mentioned they're raising their prices. I know with brothers and box brothers and cards, they said. I one of the comments was I I better expect like only luminance, uh, illusions, um, phoenix. Uh, you know, a lot of those $50 packs, and uh, they replied with, no, we're looking at the $20 to $25 packs for the new price point, which would be uh, Donruss, probably more Donruss Elite. Um, they, I think they will have some, they said they will have like Illusions or Phoenix in there, so they'll have some of that higher end stuff, of course, um, but I think it's going to be a lot of Donruss and uh, I'm trying to think what else is at that price point. Um, mm -mm -mm. Probably like, uh, what did I just open? Yeah, like Legacy, uh, Elite, 
Um, I think what they're trying to do is avoid having this stuff, which is like 10 to $15. I'm sure this will have some, but I think, I know actually 30% of this, of February's boxes were filled with high hybrid score, which is like a 10 or $15 pack. So we'll see what happens. I think people, they were hearing a lot from their membership that um, they were upset with the, low, uh, lo the lower end packs taking over the the subscription boxes or just these boxes in general, which is kind of true. Um, I just don't know if the prices that they're raising to is going to be matched by what they're putting in the boxes because if you're getting nine packs and you're paying $250 and it's 20 to $25 a pack, that doesn't add up. So that's still under 250 And of course, you expect sometimes not to make back what you put into it with Brothers and Cars because it's a random it's a random thing. Sometimes you come out ahead, sometimes you come below, but you would think that the average box, like my box was probably sub-average or average uh, this month and I was still above the value. So that's what you like to see. Hopefully they can keep up with that. I know I'm probably out at the $250 mark. Um, that's just too much. Uh, and I like doing uh, more videos than one a month. If I did 250, I would probably be one a month. So we'll see. Maybe I'll do the 150 silver box. Maybe I'll do, um, I'm not definitely not doing the bronze, but yeah, we'll see what happens. Uh, it's just crazy that the hobby's getting this way. Um, I don't know. It's, part of me just wants to wait till the, the crash happens, the inevitable crash where the value goes down and maybe I'll just stick to selling. A lot of options here. It's not sustainable at the, the current pace. You can't expect $900 boxes to last forever, but uh, the hobby goes through, through its ups and downs. I think it's going through a major, major up right now. I don't know if we've ever seen it like this before. So, I don't know. We'll see what happens. Uh, hopefully you guys are having a nice weekend and uh, have a great March. Get out of these winter months and hopefully COVID soon enough. Uh, and I'll talk to you guys again soon.